Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can automatically send messages on WhatsApp via Interact. So Interact is a WhatsApp business solution provider by which you can send messages and create a CRM out of your WhatsApp. So guys, here we are going to connect Google Sheets with Interact in such a way that you just have to add the link of the file, the phone number in, on which you want to send the file in a row in Google Sheets application and as you enter the data, a WhatsApp message will be delivered automatically to that person on WhatsApp. So guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding super simply. Let's begin. So we are setting up this automation using, using Pavli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. And I'm going to paste the link of this landing page in the description. So from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and you have to reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application. And the dashboard is going to look like this. From here, click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Google Sheets to interact. <clears throat> so after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things, the trigger and the action. So trigger starts this workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here, guys, when you click on trigger, it will ask to choose the application. So in our use case, Google Sheet will act as the trigger application because here, adding of the details of any file and the phone number of the person is going to act as a trigger. So Google Sheet is our trigger application. So you just have to search for Google Sheets here. Okay. Then you have to select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay. And here it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this URL, we are going to create a connection with Google Sheets. And after that, we are going to fetch some response of that connection. So you need to follow these instructions or steps written here to create that connection. Let me show you directly how you can do that. So first of all, you have to open your spreadsheet in a new incognito window. So if you are using multiple Google accounts in the same browser, you have to open the Google sheet in incognito mode so that you can properly make the connection. Okay. So here you can see in this, uh, Google sheet, I am adding these details, the name of the person to whom I am, I'm going to send the message, the WhatsApp number of that person and the link of the file. So this is an image link actually. So this is not the same spreadsheet. Let me open the different spreadsheet on which I have the PDF links. This is the spreadsheet. Okay. And here is the PDF link that I want to send to the person on WhatsApp. And actually I have uh, copied this link from my WordPress account. I have uploaded some PDF files on my WordPress and I have copied this link from there. You can have the link from any other place as well, right? And here guys, we have to uh, click on this extensions button and from here, click on add-ons and from this get add-ons, uh, the Google workspace marketplace window will open up. And from here, you have to install an add-on, which is called Pabli connect web hooks. So search for Pabli Connect Webhooks and you have to install it here. Okay. After that, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. This is an important step. After installing the add-on, refresh the spreadsheet. And after refreshing, when you click on extensions again, you will find the Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the dropdown. And from here, you have to click on this initial setup button. So when you open the initial setup, you will find these two fields here, the Webhook URL field and the trigger column. So guys, in this webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to enter the last or the final data entry column of your spreadsheet. So here guys, this column, the C column is my final data entry column, which means whenever I am going to start adding the details of a, a person and the file link, I'm going to start with the column A, then I'll fill the column B 
And finally, I'm going to fill the column C. And as I'm going to fill the column C, this is going to trigger the workflow. So C column is our trigger column. Okay. So first of all, let me copy the webhook URL that I got here. Okay. And here you can see as I have copied this, it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. So let me create the connection first. Then we are going to send some test data from our spreadsheet to here uh, in this workflow. Okay. So I'm going to my spreadsheet, click on extensions, Babli Connect webhooks, initial setup. And here, let me erase this field and let me paste this webhook URL. Trigger column is the C column. Okay. And here you can see we have this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row that you have will be sent to the workflow as the test data. Okay. And it will be captured in the response section where it is waiting for the response here. Okay. So let us fetch the test data. I'm clicking on send test. And here you can see test data sent successfully is written here. Okay. Now you can check if you got the data. And here you can see guys, we have received the data like this. We got the WhatsApp number. We got the trigger columns name, spreadsheet name. Here you can see the name of the person and the file link is also here, right? Now you can go back and from here, click on submit. Okay, so setup is configured. Now close this window and you have to do one thing more here. Just click on extensions and from this Pabli Connect Webhooks option, select this send on event button as well. So when you select this send on event option, what will happen whenever you are going to add any new row that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, right. So we are done making the connection. Now open the workflow and here guys, uh, it is time to send the WhatsApp message to this person whose data and the file link we have collected. For that, we are going to use the section step and here we are going to connect with interact, interact application. Okay. And we are going to select the action event as send template WhatsApp message. Okay. This one. Then click on connect here. From this window, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the API key or the secret key of interact application. So interact is a WhatsApp API service provider. So this is the dashboard of interact. And here you have this settings option on the bottom left hand side. Just click on it. From here, click on settings. Under settings page, you will find this developer setting and here is the secret key. You just have to copy it and you have to paste it here in this field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with interact. Okay, like this. And here it is asking for the country code and the phone number. So we have the full phone number here in which we have the country code and the full number as well. So if you have the full number, you have to map it here in this third field full phone number field. Okay. So here you have to enter this number in this format with a plus sign and the phone number. So I do not have the plus sign here. We just have a phone number. So I'm going to manually put the plus sign. Okay. And here you can see as I have clicked here, the previous step or the Google sheet trigger step is appearing here. And when you click on it, you will find all the data here like this. So from here, map this WhatsApp number. Then it will ask for the template code name. So what are the templates? Templates are the predefined message structures that you create that you have to create in interact application to send messages on WhatsApp to multiple people using automations. Okay. So here we have created a message structure or a template for sending messages. Let me show you that. So this is the template section and this is the, uh, uh, sorry, not this one. This is the, uh, message I have created. And in this message, you can see I have a header, you can have a header in the message in which you can send a text, an image, any video or a document. So I have selected document here and a PDF file document is going to be sent. And this is the body of the message. That means the message we are actually sending. So here you can read, uh, this message is about a fee submission. You can see, thank you for successfully submitting the total submission fee. Total admission fee. Okay. And uh, here is the fee receipt. Actually, this message is 
created for sending fee receipts for uh, people who are submitting their fee okay so i'm just showing you the example and here you can see guys in this message we have this one two three four five and six and double curly braces so these are the variable placeholders of the message okay so you must have these variables added inside the message body at strategic places so that you can change the value of these fields in every new message like the name of the person is going to be entered here in this first body field or the variable placeholder all right and here the amount submitted by the student here anything else and here anything else okay these are the body fields so to get this data of the body fields changed automatically with every new message you have to map the values of these body fields in your workflow so first of all first of all you have to select put the template code here to find the template code you just have to open the message and at the top search bar before this view slash and after this template slash you will find the code of the uh, message here like this this is the template code you just have to copy it and you have to paste it here okay here you have to put the language code so our uh, message template is in english language and the code of that language is en okay so you just have to put here en okay header value so as i have told already told you that we are sending a pdf file here in the header attaching in the header so you have to put the link of this pdf file here in this header value field and we have received the file link from our google sheets in this first step right here in this file link label so to map this file link you just have to scroll here and in just click on this header value and from the google sheets step map the file link okay like this then it will ask for the body var body variable val values okay so here guys you have to enter the values of the body variables or these placeholders okay and you have to map these values like this so first value is for the name of the person to whom you are sending this message all right so to fill these body fields or the body variables you just have to click here and from this first step i am mapping here this name label then you have to put a comma then you can put second body variables value which is the amount of the fee so i'm putting the amount manually here okay and similarly put another comma and put uh, the purpose of the fee that is school fee then put another comma then you can put uh, the name of the school like this okay then put another comma and what is the next body field uh, the name of the counselor let's say the counselor's name is counselor only and here finally we have uh, the contact number of the counselor so you can put the number like this okay so you have to sequentially place the value of body variables one two three four five six like this okay P please remember to sequentially place the value of body variable so that the body variables variables will be placed here properly in correct variable okay and as i have mapped the value you can map all the values but right now i do not have sufficient data that's why i have entered some values manually but when you map any label here what will happen with every time this uh, workflow is going to execute the labels are going to be updated automatically and the values will change in every new message okay that's why it is necessary to map the labels right so if you have a call to action button which is a specific spe special feature of interact you can have a cta button in the whatsapp messages you can decide the position of a cta but right now we do not have any cta here but if you have any button here you can place the button in zero or one places zero is for the left position one is for the right position i think okay so you can select it from here and if you have a you if you want to attach any link on the cta like your shops link your online stores link you can put the uh, link here 
right? Then after that, you can click on save and send test request button to check your connection with WhatsApp and a uh, test message will be delivered to, to this number automatically, okay? So this is not an original number. So I'm going to put my WhatsApp number here. Then I'll click on save and send test request and show you how the message is going to appear on WhatsApp. So I have entered my WhatsApp number here and now let me click on save and send test request button and I'll show you the message on my WhatsApp account. So this is the response we have received here and let's check on my WhatsApp if I have received a new message. And here you can see guys, I have received a new message like this and here you can see we have a PDF file attached here inside the message and the message is this. Dear demo name, thank you for successfully submitting the total admission fee of INR 13,000 towards your school fee with Pabli School. And here you can see guys, in place of all the body variables, the data placed correctly as we have entered and mapped here. You can see all the data is placed here in places of the body fields automatically in this new message. And the PDF file is also attached here that can be downloadable like this okay it got downloaded so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow after that it will run automatically whenever you are going to enter the details inside google sheet and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.